Hello everyone and welcome to another quick review of a RC product. Uh, today I'm going to show you a servo tester. Uh, this is very useful not for only testing servos but you can test ESCs with it, you can uh, use it to control gimbals and uh, it's useful for a lot of uh, do-it-yourself projects and I'm going to show you a very cheap one that works very good. Of course there is another one uh, here in the back but uh, this is already opened up, so I'm going to show you how to hook it up and how it works. First I'm going to show you some details, so it has a switch here which is uh, a three position switch, it has a manual function, a neutral function and an automatic function. And here you can uh, connect up to three servos and uh, a power to, to it. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to use a uh, battery eliminator circuit, this provides constant 5 uh, volts, uh, LiPo battery to supply power and of course a servo with an arm so you are going to see the movement and now I'm going to connect the servo, you can see it has here a wiring guide so it has plus, minus and servo and this is servo 4, servo 3, servo 2 and servo 1. I'm going to connect to servo 1 with servo wire in top part, plus in the middle and negative on uh, the bottom part of the connector and power will go here just like that with plus and minus here. Now I'm going to connect the LiPo battery And if I move the knob here, I have movement of the servo reported to the movement of my button here. If I go to neutral, it will center the servo. It's centered, but I haven't installed this in a centered position, so I can take it out and put it into a more centered position just like that and now the button is deactivated but if I go back to manual I can finally move move it further or backward like I want to and you can see this is maximum on one side and this is maximum on the other side so it's working just fine you also have some uh, indicators here from 0 to 9 so around 5 point where is the middle of the cursor? It's actually the middle of the servo movement. So if I go back to neutral, it was neutral. So the gradation works very good. If I go back, if I go one step further to automatic, this will do a full test from side to side, and it will cycle it continuously, which is also very good. As you can see. This thing is really useful for testing a lot of things and as I've told you I can always connect here uh, ESC and a motor and I can test the motor and the ESC with it and even program ESCs with it and so on and so on so uh, this thing should not be missing from your RC tool bag. Uh, of course I'm going to add a link where you can uh, process this in uh, the video description and you can see more details about it there. Until next time, bye bye.